lady loved her. This woman, who didn't want to be identified, says she worked at the store and knew the victim, even enjoyed lunch breaks with her. She says the woman had worked for Walmart for more than 25 years and was a loving mother and supportive friend. You're here to work and try to help customers, not for you to be stabbed or insulted. 250 Gemstones Culture represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. We are more than journalism. We are a revolution. Come on, come on, let's kick this door down and let everybody know we up in here. Welcome to the 250 Gemstones News TV channel. I am your host, Michael T. Porter, and I'm bringing the news to your ass like no other. This is a channel that represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. I have another bomb news segment for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping. If you'd like to support the channel, cash out dollar sign Michael US. Also, Check out my Spotify podcast, the 250 Gemstones Culture Podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. Oh, man. This this poor old lady, Walmart's employee, was stabbed to death while she was working. Yes, old lady stabbed to death while she was working. Just trying to make ends meet. I got a video I want to play for y'all, and I'm going to be right back with you to give you my opinion. Let's go. County investigators are trying to figure out why a man stabbed a woman to death inside of a Lake Elsinore Walmart today, then turned himself in. Fox 11's Christy Fajardo spoke to the victim's co-workers. Crime tape and sorrow at this Lake Elsinore Walmart. A 65-year-old longtime employee was stabbed to death, deputies say, inside the store on Central Avenue at about 7 in the morning, even as others were inside. She was a really good person, great, good friend. Everybody loved her. This woman, who didn't want to be identified, says she worked at the store and knew the victim, even enjoyed lunch breaks with her. She says the woman had worked for Walmart for more than 25 years and was a loving mother and supportive friend. You're here to work and try to help customers, not for you to be stabbed or insulted. You know, you want to be safe where you work and you're not. Even more baffling, deputies say the man who stabbed her appeared to have no connection to the victim. He later turned himself in at the sheriff's station. Deputies learned that the suspect's name was Lonnie Hinton, 29-year-old of Wildemar. He had been just released earlier this year from prison and was currently on parole. Deputies say he had recently served time for burglary, but couldn't say for how long or why he was released. In a statement, Walmart said, quote, we're heartbroken by what has happened at our Lake Elsinore store. The facility will remain closed as we work with police during their investigation. We offer our condolences and support. Would y'all like my opinion? Would y'all like some of this 250 Gemstones news TV commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. When I first seen this story, I believed this man was on fentanyl. I believed that he was on some type of medication because to stab an old lady, you know, randomly, you have to be on some type of fentanyl. Got his mind screwed up. Then I thought maybe he knew this lady. Maybe this, this, he was related to this lady. Maybe your auntie. I'm, and then I thought that maybe that's his mom or stepmom. I'm like, how does he know this lady? You know, how, do you, how does he know where she work? And it's just so many questions. So many, so many questions. But it's so sad that our older folks get treated so bad. They get treated bad in the nursing home. And here's the thing. She's at Walmart because she ain't got no damn money. Or, let me not speculate. Maybe she got some money and she just want to get out the house. Some people got a nice little pension. This want to get out the house. It's, you know, they miss working and... Now, I don't miss work. I, well, I like doing my job. I'm like working for other people. But, you know, some people love working and getting out the house, making a little making a little extra money. Life goes on after retirement. Shoot. Life doesn't stop at, at retirement. So, she out there trying to make a buck, hustling. Don't stop until the casket drop. You can never have too much money. So, she's out there doing her thing. Grandma out there doing the thing. And this fool comes up in there. And just stabs her. And nobody knows why. Like. So. And then my fourth. 
speculation. Is he trying to go to jail? Now he could have went to jail. Maybe he has a girlfriend in jail. <laughs> Maybe he has a girlfriend in jail and he wants to get back to him and he wants to stay behind the bars a long time with his with his jailhouse girlfriend. That's the only thing I could think of. Drugs. He knew this lady personally. She did something to him. He has a, a girlfriend on the inside. No, three reasons. He had three reasons. He has a he has some butt in prison that he's trying to get back to. There's a story, uh, I'm about to find this story, but my uncle was telling me out there in Florida, a man was released from prison. He was a homosexual, he was a punk, and he was released from prison, but he was getting his back blown out so uh, viciously, and he, he couldn't live without his back being blown out by his, uh, his girlfriend in prison, that he stole a big rig and slammed the big red into the side walls of the penitentiary in order to break out his girlfriend, which is his boyfriend. Like he was gay, so he was getting his back blown out, and he like he 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 had to get his back blown out. Like he never had that type of loving before. So yeah, he stole a big rig and slammed it into the penitentiary wall, like try to run through the fence and the wall so he can break out his lover. Make a big old hole in the thing, and it was a whole catastrophe, all type of damages, and they they whooped his behind, they handcuffed, and they, whoo, they did that man dirty. But all of this because of some jailhouse booty. So I was maybe it's that drugs. He has some jailhouse booty, or he he knew this lady. He it, it's just crazy out there. Uh, our elderly folk came just go make a dollar. It ain't pay much. How much Walmart pay now? What twelve? I think it's 12 that when I was at seven, let's say uh 12, 12 hours. She just want to get out the house and, you know, do what she can with that 12. Y'all flood my comments. Why do y'all think he ran up in this Walmart and stabbed this old lady to death? 250, capital G, I'm gone.